taking that as a lesson for the <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but this one, Canada's got men, got men back, but look where they all are. Like they're put, they, sh they should have been pushing out at that point, putting pressure on Frankie Hayduk as it is. They're standing there waiting for something to happen, and something did happen. Hayduk is, is cri often criticised for his distribution, but he hit that ball very, very sweetly. Um, Pat Onstad, the Pat kick Onstad, call. You know, the retort from a lot of American fans today uh, to the offside call was that Pat Onstad should have been sent off. Oh. I think that would have been that uh, This not what they had in mind. A miss hit by Stalteri and a golden opportunity for the U.S. Well, this would have killed it. Absolutely would have yeah. killed it as a game. This would have been 3 nothing, and there would be no way back uh, for Canada at 3 nothing. Demarcus Beasley going through does well because he commits uh, Andrew Hainu. Uh, the centre half and then Landon Donovan just absolutely whiffs on it, doesn't oh. even get close to it, just uh, a terrible miss. And then right up the park, right immediately after that, Ali Gerber gets a little break here and uh, it sits very nicely for Atiba Hutchison first time and then just takes a little bit too long, checks inside his left foot and the chance comes and goes. A little bit later on in the match, Ian Hume comes on as a substitute, and this young fella had some designs on making a difference in this game for sure. Well, I've been questioning right through the tournament why we haven't seen more of Ian Hume, and uh, the way he came on and played, I think the question still is left unanswered. Atiba Hutchison, who I didn't actually think had one of his better games uh, compared with how he can play, but it's probably a little bit of an indication of the kind of player Hutchison, Hutchinson is, is that he can do nothing for a long time, but with one or two pieces of skill that you can turn a game a and pass. that's pretty much what he did there and Ian Hume just dummy and inside Boca Negra. The Americans they haven't, haven't been punished for the uh, the chances they'd missed throughout this tournament and uh, with Ian Hume putting that one in it began to look like it was perhaps going to turn and then Ian Hume turns up and saves one off the line <laughs> as well. You know, hacky sack. He's probably saying at that point I'm scoring them, I'm saving them, what else do you want me to do? <laughs> Still a one goal game, time winding down, the U.S. then reduced to 10 men. Yes, Michael Bradley earning a red card, he will miss the final and Canada, a player up with time winding down and needing a goal. High, late, um, from behind, from behind everything goes into it being a, being a red card and I think, uh, you know, Michael Bradley, you're playing with only seconds left, getting caught the wrong side of the ball. Um, Bradley ball being played the, by a defender is when he has got control of it, and, and Ye who didn't have control of it, but it was a total red herring as far as this is concerned. It's not the greatest angle on that one, but uh, that's it, Hutchison very calmly kind of stroking it away. Assistant referee puts the flag up, referee calls it immediately. As you pointed out, Mitch, he blew the whistle, but there's the line. Quite clearly, Hutchin Hutchinson is not beyond the defender at that point. One of the things that's been talked about is whether or not Ian Hume got a touch on the ball after it was played by Patrice Bernier. It's probably the most logical explanation of why it was an incorrect call that the assistant referee thought that Ian Hume actually got the flick rather than Anyehu. That's fine, except you wouldn't have thought the referee would have seen it that way and the one mystery that sits over the top of this incident that still hasn't been resolved is why did not the why didn't the referee go over and speak to the assistant referee? Because he had already blown the whistle before the ball went in the net. And I think that's a good explanation. It means that not only did the, the assistant referee get it wrong, but the referee he got it wrong as no well. Choice. Left himself no choice, and he didn't want to hear what the assistant referee had to say because he's already put himself in that position. This is what Canadian coach Stephen Hart had to say after the match. Quote: Their player headed the ball down into the box, and our player kicked it in. If one of their players played the ball back, it's a back pass, it cannot be offsides, that's how I saw it. Well, and Stephen Hart, unfortunately, is absolutely wrong with that. Because no, but